My name is Naima Clark. I am Executive Director at Nurturing Roots Farm, and I'm also Farm Coordinator at Living Well Kent. And we're at Nurturing Roots, <laughs> amazing place on Beacon Hill. Here at Nurturing Roots, we're all about sustainable agriculture and community awareness, but teaching those with low access <laughs> to healthy foods all about what it takes to take care of themselves and self-sustain our environment. This space was an old pea patch, and we were able to transition each of the different lots. So this one was our second lot that we transformed, but we have kale, we have collards, corn, tomatoes, basil, two different basils, um, and then amazing fruit trees. We also teach seed saving, so all about organic techniques to keep, um, to keep things going. Welcome to our dining room space here at Nurturing Roots. We like to host farm to table dinners here. The last one we did with Chef Tarek was incredible. It was a six course meal with drink pairings. Uh, we sat 24 people here on the hay bales and we had little cushions. The tents, the tiki torches were lit. Our fire pit was going, but it was incredible to have folks come out, have healthy food. Often folks in the community don't know that we're here. So being able to welcome them to a space that's right around the corner was amazing. Growing up here in South Seattle, a lot of times I had a lack of access to healthy foods. I noticed that going to the convenience store was really easy, but filling up on healthy organic foods was really like, it was out of the question. So being able to have a healthy source of food at an affordable rate for my community is very important. Being able to address systemic issues around food justice. Why is it that our communities don't have the access and other communities do? Um, we're seeing that other communities are more healthy also. So being able to educate folks on what that means to them is really important here. Also being able to help farmers at Livingwell Kent, but all of them are immigrant farmers from Africa, so often they had opportunities to grow, but here in the city setting you just don't have the space. Um, so being able to even give them opportunities at our farmer's market to sell produce and take home 100% of the profit, I love it. Our city is very expensive and it's going up, so being able to acquire property like this is really difficult here in um, the Rainier Valley. So for me, that was difficult. Um, this year, we were able to get our nonprofit license, so now we have access to a lot more funding sources than we had before. But also, being people of color, a lot of times you don't have an opportunity to be on these stages that you're considered a real farmer or authentic. Um, so being able to be here and you know stand firm in that, encourage other farmers to do it, is really impactful. and. Even my friends don't recognize me sometimes, but to me it's like, this is the most amazing work, it doesn't even feel like it. The future of Nurturing Roots is so bright. Um, we've been expanding our space, we've been hosting more events, we've been teaching more workshops, but we're really hoping that we can have a CSA developed where we can not only provide healthy food, but deliver it. A lot of times access and people work late, they're unable to get to farmer's markets, unable to afford it. So being able to get the food out to folks that really need it is very important. My advice to anyone looking to acquire a green job or devote their lives to the environment is just go with it. A lot of times it may not be the most amazing thing. You may even see bees and get scared, but it does not matter. I've got over my fear of spiders. I've been able to deal with the dirty nails and I've been able to have amazing healthy food and show my friends what it means to you know, take care of our environment and take care of themselves.